Well, I adored Lewis Coleman, and I took a lot of shit because of Lewis Coleman. Uh, I would go to see a doctor, had a doctor's appointment once, and they immediately associated me with Reverend Coleman. Uh, he was a scapegoat, really. I mean, he was wonderful. He had a bullhorn, and he was totally unprepared for anything he undertook. But he undertook it, and he made a lot of noise about issues that were really, really important to the black community. Like what kind of issues? Well, for example, uh, drugs and guns and jobs. And when Valhalla Golf Course was uh, created, no blacks employed. I mean, there are so many situations where Lewis, you know, ra raised hell that he, caught, he brought a lot of attention to a, an issue without doing detail work. And that's what drove white people crazy. I mean, some of my friends who were theoretically civil rights advocates didn't like Lewis's style, Reverend Coleman's style. He, there were two people in this city who were irreplaceable, Ann Braden and Reverend Coleman. And their loss is palpable. There have been so many things in recent years where Reverend Coleman would have raised some public health that haven't been attended to because there's no replacement for him. So I was a great follower of his. I'll give you an example. He came to the ACLU about six times and wanted us to sue the Kentucky High School Athletic Association because there were no black coaches. And I said six times, Lewis, that's just not a civil liberties issue, really. Uh, and he wouldn't give up. And so one day I was talking to our volunteer attorney, a law professor who had tenure at U of K, so he could do practically anything. And he's the one that filed the school desegregation lawsuit. And I said, you know, Bob Lewis Coleman is driving me nuts. He thinks we ought to sue the Kentucky High School Athletic Association because there's no black coaches. And Bob said, we can do that. You know, it cut the ground right up from under me. So he filed a lawsuit in a federal court. What was his name? Bob Sedler, S-E-D-L-E-R. He's in uh, Michigan now. And now, if you pick up a copy of the Kentucky High School Athletic Association's rules, it's got a blue cover. You open the page, and it lists all the coaches by name and what district. And then there's an asterisk up near the top. And if you look at the bottom, it says, and one black coach by federal court order. And that's Lewis's mark. 